Today I'm doing a Pioneer TSWX130DA review. As promised in the fitment video, I'm going to give you my thought on the quality of this unit. So stay tuned. As promised, I tried positioning the sub. I put it on the boot floor uh, just behind the rear seats. I also tried it on the rear shelf. Now in both of those positions it bolstered the base quite nicely but it needed a, a lot of volume to do so uh, and it was okay but you could tell that the base was coming from the rear of the car. Then I tried it underneath the seat which is obviously where it's supposed to go and well oh boy Clearly the engineers at Pioneer know exactly what they're doing when they design and develop these things. Uh, it really it really did come to life once I positioned it under the seat. I tried it under the driver's seat and under the passenger seat and overall in the car that made no real difference. Um, both positions were equally as good. Under the driver's seat as the driver you do feel the base just a little more when it's under the driver's seat because it is the base is coming directly at you from underneath your backside so that's where I've decided to keep it positioned it really does work at its best there so what about the sound quality I've listened to a variety of music with it uh, a little bit of Jules Holland and his uh, and his rhythm and blues orchestra uh, as well as a few other uh, sort of prog rock type material um, I've listened to it with some, some Beatles, uh, a, a few other sort of 60s bands and my, my taste in music is primarily classic rock uh, so I've, I've had a really good listen to it with pretty much everything from Aerosmith to ZZ Top. It's a real shame that uh, copyright laws being what they are, I, I can't demonstrate the sub uh, with any of that music for you. What I can say about it is it does exactly what I want it to do. Now I've got a Hertz speaker set up uh, in, in my car. I've got the Infotainment Plus, with, which has a boot amp, and with the full suite of Hertz speakers uh, around the car, the bass is actually quite good. Certainly an improvement on the stock speakers, particularly with the six and a half inch EV165s I've put in the doors, which are mid bass units. Uh, they, they have a brilliant uh, sound to them. Uh, the whole setup uh, is absolutely crystal clear. The clarity from these Hertz units is, is tremendous. Um, and the bass is quite good. So I wasn't after a huge sub to fit in the boot, like my son has in his Fiesta, as you see here because I didn't feel the need for monster bass. I wasn't trying to blow the doors out, but I didn't want to fill my boot up with a great big subwoofer either. Uh, I, I actually like having a big boot uh, and we do use it. I just wanted something just to prop up the lower end. I could hear that just some of the bass lines in some of the rock music was just tailing off. Stuff that you know you can hear when you go to a concert, but which is just lacking in this car system. This Pioneer sub does exactly that. It bolsters the frequency response from about 120, 540 hertz right down to about 40 hertz. Um, if I show you this graph, there are two graphs here, one with and one without the sub, uh, both playing the same tune, uh, which was the tune that you're going to hear shortly, which is uh, Unexpected Guest by the Black Strap Band. The orange line on this graph is a peak hold line. I played the whole track right through to get that orange line so that you can see the maximum frequency response at all frequencies. The white line is instantaneous. And you can see from this graph that I'm getting substantial improvement in the 40 to 70 hertz region, a little over 5 dB in some places, from 70 to around 110, uh, getting a, a, little, a little bit of a less improvement, but about three and a half decibels. Now, a three decibel rise in sound pressure is a perceived doubling of volume to the human ear. So I'm getting more than a doubling of volume at some of these lower registers, which is perfect, just what I was looking for. And, and even getting and a little improvement in, in some of the frequencies as, as high, up to about 200 hertz. Nothing beyond that, of course, because the, uh, 
the sub has no real response beyond that and uh, it really sound and it really sounds great and it really boosts the bass tremendously now that's with the unit on about half volume uh, i'm not looking for any more than that uh, that that just bolsters the sound nicely uh, if, if you wanted more from it, you could certainly turn it up and, and get plenty more. Uh, the, 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 big, the biggest problem with that, though, is that it can, as it produces more bass, it makes stuff rattle. So, so that has to be considered as well. Yeah. I will be doing a series of videos on improving uh, squeak and rattle uh, in these cars uh, in, in, as the summer approaches. But it, it, made, it made stuff rattle that I didn't even know could rattle. Luckily... I'm actually friends with the band. The the leader of the band, Nikos, actually uh, own, owns a hotel on Corfu. Uh, and I've stayed there several times. Here's a picture of me with the band after one of their gigs at the hotel. And whilst ordinarily, as I mentioned before, you'd have to use uh, Creative Commons music, none of which is too exciting, Nikos has given me permission to use an, any track I like from uh, the Absence album, their latest album, to demonstrate uh, this sub. On the stereo unit in the car, on the head unit, I've kept the tone controls all flat in the middle. And as I say, the gain on the remote control is up to about halfway. Uh, the frequency I've selected isn't quite up to the full 125 hertz it can go to. I, I've got it set at about 100 hertz and I've got it a normal phase and deep bass mode. For the purposes of this demonstration, I tried out all of the microphones that I have. The one I've chosen wasn't the microphone that gave the best overall sound quality, but it does give reasonable recorded sound quality, but it gave really good bass response in the recording. And since it's bass we're talking about and it's bass from the sub that we're trying to demonstrate, I deliberately chose that microphone for that reason. So you're not really hearing the clarity of the system that I mentioned earlier come through in this recording, but hopefully you will hear that the bass coming through, which is produced by the sub. I've recorded The Unexpected Guest by the Blackstrap Band twice, once without the sub in play, and once with the sub in play. So as you hear it, what I can do is I, I will, at various points in the track, I will switch between having the sub playing and not having the sub playing, so that hopefully you can hear the difference it's making. Let's get straight in to playing that track. Thank you. 
Now that you've heard it with the black strap band track, I hope you agree with me that uh, it bolsters the base quite nicely at the bottom end without making it overblown. Would I recommend this subunit? Yes, I would. I did look at a lot of other reviews before choosing this sub for myself. Um, most of them written reviews in magazines, um, but some of the semi-professional reviewers really, really liked it. And, and several actually listed it in, in their sort of top three of underseat subunits. Yes, it can never compete with a monster in the boot, but that's not what I wanted. If you want, and if you want a monster in the boot, then this is not the the article for you either. I just wanted it to bolster the bottom end of the music so that I could hear those bass lines coming from, you know, Francis Buchholz's bass guitar and of course the big bass drum that you get with bands like uh, the Scorpions and Uriah Heep and I believe I've achieved that. If you've got questions I encourage you to put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer all questions. There are links in the description too for materials that you'll need for the installation and indeed for the subunit itself uh, with worldwide delivery. If you got value from this video, maybe you'll consider supporting the channel. There's a link in the description. Make sure to like the video down by the title and I shall see you next time.